The Liberty Triathlon team have been training this fall semester on Liberty's campus, and though the Flames have had to adapt to new protocols with their training regimen, they have enjoyed the opportunity to train in the sport they love. Uh, I've been really proud of our team. They've really adapted well to all the COVID changes, and I think they realize that we're in this together and everybody's having to make changes, and they've had a great attitude, which has really helped uh, the team bond and just start out the season really well. We all knew that it was such a blessing that we had to be able to train and then also the opportunities that we found to races. Um, so I think overall our team was just really grateful and so everyone was willing to do temperature checks, wear masks when needed, um, and it just made things a lot smoother. The Flames have had the opportunity to compete in races this fall and have had success at each race, including having one of the team's top performances to date at the Rock and Roman Olympic Triathlon in Mackin, Georgia, as the men's team swept the podium for the top three spots while the Lady Flames took home first and second overall honors. The Flames also closed out podium sweeps for the men and women 16 to 18 category of the race as well. This season looked a lot more different than I was expecting it was gonna be heading into it uh, in August, and uh, I couldn't be happier with how it went uh, getting to go to uh, two different travel trips uh, on top of having another home meet at Smith Mountain Lake with just the team. It was really cool because we have a fairly new team and many people came in this year and they had never done a triathlon and so it was exciting to see them be able to finish one and not only finish it but do extremely well. With a bright future ahead of the young team, the Flames are now setting their sights on their winter training where they are looking to carry the momentum from the fall into the spring. And though the Flames have had some uncertainty about when the spring racing season will start, the Flames know that the work they are putting in will make the difference for when the racing season does begin in the spring. Well, part of sport is building character and resiliency. And I think during this pandemic, it's caused us to even build those even more. And so when we go to different places and uh, go to our different hometowns and states, it's going to be uh, good knowing that we'll have teammates that are going through the same thing. And uh, for me, something I like to do is just find community wherever I'm at to run, bike, and swim with. All the athletes have the same workouts through Training Peaks, and at least they, they know each other's doing it, and they can draw motivation from each other, whether that's just by you know texting each other or our group chat, um, but they know each other is training, and I think it's motivating because we do have uh, two big events on the schedule, a uh, second semester. Uh, we hope to be going to Florida and to Arizona for our national championship, so we're just praying that all the events uh, happen as planned.